This decoding test is the most important in revealing of these tests. If you have time for just one, do this. Firstly, make sure you print the pages in landscape mode like this. Ask the child to read these words across the page. Tell them you want to see how many they can read correctly in a minute. For many children, this first level will be too easy. If they are reading cat, pet, lip, rot, just call stop, far too easy at this point. Start the timer again and keep going until it is clearly not too easy. And then this will be the level that you begin with. For many kids, it will break down here. The same words as these, but with a simple suffix added. And they simply do not know where to start dealing with them. These ch and sh sounds throw many kids too, often kids who know these sounds and could spell these words. Most kids who manage this will also manage this, but there may be too much information by the time they get to here. When the child is beginning to struggle, I keep going for the full minute. I then record how many words the child read in total in that minute and the number of errors. This gives me a benchmark to measure improvement. I mark the errors on a separate sheet like this. If the child said pen here, I mark this. If they said uh, fun here, I mark that A. If they said um, bun, ban here, I mark that P. What you are looking here for here is the sort of fluency that allows a child to focus on comprehension and this comes down to three criteria. Firstly, accuracy. Is the child getting most words correct? It may be that the child makes one error multiple times. Confuse an A and U, for instance, um, here and here and here. Count that as one. Some children will search for a familiar word that more or less fits. Toot here or huge here. Note that. If there are just one or two errors, note them and move on. Those confusions need addressing, but the child is able to process this amount of information. Then speed. The child may get everything correct, but process far too awkwardly and slowly. If the child is going lip, they cannot read like that. Stop here. They need to start at this level to learn how to process these words more efficiently. There is no fixed number of words the child should be able to read in a minute. Some are just faster processes than others. If you think the child is comfortable doing this task, clearly not hesitating unduly over the words and processing as efficiently as you would expect for this child, move on. The third criteria is demeanour. This one is not measurable. You will need to rely on your judgment and instinct. You may see the child reading these at a pace and level of accuracy that is okay, much the same as here but it is taking an inordinate amount of concentration and effort. The child may be relaxed here, but then hunch over and focus more directly on the words here. The child cannot comprehend if figuring out the words takes all of their concentration, and you will see this in their demeanour. Try this child on, this, on the next level up. If speed and accuracy are much the same as here, then this level is probably where you should start. But there may be other criteria. If there are a number of kids that come out at level 3, this one, and one that scrapes in at level 4, here, you may want to group them together at level 3. It may be that a child seems to be somewhere between two levels. This one and this one, for instance. If the child is older and has good oral language, it may be better to start them at the higher level. 
But if the child has poor vocabulary and a low self-esteem, it is better to start at the lower level. It won't matter. The basic skills are much the same, but with a little more sophistication at each level. Do not be surprised if the child's decoding ability is far below what you would expect given their performance on the spelling test. For struggling kids, this occurs more often than not. Start them where they need to on the apps and where they need to on these kits, even if it seems like a mismatch. It may be that some children do not need the app at all, at least for now, and need to concentrate on their decoding skills.